Wiggle wiggle. <laughs> wiggle wiggle. Blonk. More like, like bloat first. Oh! Okay. Smash! Hey guys, it's me, Oliver. Hello. Today I'm with my husband. Hello, I'm Blake. Yes. Um, is this Chats with Ollie? Chats with Ollie. Yeah. Number 21. But, um, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about <laughs> self care and like how to. How to self care. How to self care. Okay, well the first most important thing is self-care is not the same for everyone. Self-care is about making yourself feel good. And some people hate face masks and they don't wear them and that's fine. Some people love face masks and they wear them, that's also fine. You know, some people love taking care of their skin, smelling nice and all that. But some people would rather just clean up their room and make a nice dish and that's also fine. That's like completely fine. You see this really glamorized fancy version of self-care like going to spas and all that in like movies and TV shows but it's not just about that it's about taking care of your own needs and wants and making yourself better in a mood. Yeah just kind of doing stuff to take some time out of everything that's stressful and just kind of calming down and doing whatever makes you feel comfortable. Yeah it's happy. yeah it's ultimately about being less stressed so you know if you want to feel less stressed um, in a way that doesn't involve, you know, face masks and spas and all that, it's totally fine as well. Like, it's all about feeling good about yourself and in yourself. Personally, I like face masks and shit because it makes me feel good about, like, my skin and it smells nice and I'm like, hell yeah, I'm looking fucking awesome. <laughs> I think, like, with self-care, there's many different aspects to it and I kind of... It's just, it's defined by taking care of yourself. So taking yeah. a minute out, like I know a lot of, like personally, I know that I'll just like, I'll write stuff down, which is kind of taking a minute out to do shit. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. Like, and you're like a uh, daily journal. Yeah, that's... That's yeah. self-care, definitely. And then... Also, I, drinking water. Drinking water is so good for you. Drink water right now. Just slurp some. Exactly. Just take a slurp right now. Pause the video. Go like, sip. however much you're drinking, you probably need more. I guess, okay, so, kind of ways to be Gucci yeah. and take care of yourself. I've got a shit ton of pro products and I love yeah. applying them in an order and making my skin feel nice and all that. And then I'm just like, I feel so clean and that's like really good. Sometimes you can only really, like maybe you can only handle having a shower or like washing your face or something and that's also completely fine. You're taking care of yourself and that is self-care. Just, just literally. Spray some deodorant. Or yeah, over yourself like me. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> but like seriously, um, it's it's just doing anything to take a moment. Like you could make a playlist of music that kind of calms you down and helps you sit out and be Gucci. Exactly. Yeah. I know there's music that specifically makes me feel better, and like find something that makes you feel better when you're upset or when you're just overwhelmed and stressed. Yeah. And do that. Like have a space. Like if you can, create like a physical space. Yeah. Where you can just go and be calm and do whatever makes you happy if that's like listening to music playing music yeah something. right now i'm in my basement and like this is where i go for self-care we stay in the basement yeah i like put on my, all my self-care shit and then i wash it off and it like it feels great um also it doesn't have to be expensive self-care mm. does not have to be expensive another point i i know i'm switching between points here now this is a bit controversial but i personally don't think drugs are self-care no. Cause, no, cause you go through the low and it's only a temporary Yeah, yeah, I method. don't think drugs are self-care, that's like an unhealthy coping mechanism. Yeah. I guess it's just talking about healthy coping, healthy coping mechanisms versus unhealthy coping mechanisms. Yeah, self-care is all about a healthy coping mechanism, yeah. building your own resilience and self-confidence and just happiness in yourself. Yeah, and I think that's really important to not rely on happiness from other people cause that's, that can be temporary or changed or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Like you can't, if you have a falling out with your friend then that's gonna that's gonna be shitty like no matter who it is but if you literally rely on your friend for every emotional need you have mm. 
then that's even worse. You know, you don't have that resilience. So ultimately, it's you time. Yeah, and I, it's, it's important to have time to yourself to be able to kind of feel all your feels and calm down and just be like in yourself but i think self-care can be so many things like there's so many things it could be and it's just kind of taking care of yourself healthy coping mechanisms and like literally a healthy coping mechanism can just be like what what's some just you know um having an app taking a shower cooking yourself a meal yeah um, like eating healthy drinking some water just having that time is self-care cuddle a cat yeah cuddle a cat cat cats are great self-care Yo, oh, yes i love dogs yes. so much and um, you can also, if you get like an article of clothing that makes you really comfortable, just like a really fluffy jumper mm. or some fluffy socks and just kind of sit in it. And I'm not like at all saying that self-care is like a solution if you're struggling. It's not a complete solution, but it's good like habit to get into. Yeah. And it's not like, you know, those whole people who are like, you know, take a run and your depression's cured. Yeah. I'm not no, saying no, that. I'm just saying not. it's important, like not like necessarily in a mental illness aspect, but just if you're stressed. Yeah, it, it helps. It, it definitely help, helps me recover. Yeah, but just, you know, if you're stressed, it, it's something you can do to kind of have time out and just breathe. And I think also it's important to kind of make, like, a list of things that you, like, you know, calm you down. Kind yeah. Of. Oh, another thing is you should, you know what you should do? You should get, like, an article of clothing, like some gloves or a jumper or, like, a lotion that has a p specific scent and then use that when you're doing self-care so that your brain kind of goes, like... When your brain connects to the, your brain builds connections, and the more something happens, the stronger the connection is. Mm -hmm. So if I'm wearing my gloves and I only ever wear my gloves when I'm trying to be calm, then I'm going to be calm, right? Because yeah. like, I have that connection between those gloves and calm, right? Yeah. So that's something you should consider. Mm, definitely. Yeah. And I think also something like with, because I know music helps me a lot because. Oh yeah, same. Yeah. But if you're like trying to calm down and be not feeling like, like if you want to calm down and be like chill. Yeah. Listen to like lo-fi or something. Or like happy music. Yeah. It's called mood countering actually. Mm. When you're stressed and you want to feel not stressed, you lit listen to something calm and, and then that in in itself calms you down. Lo-fi and stuff like that. Like yeah, Snail's lo -fi House. Yeah, lo-fi is great. And yeah. Snail's House. That helps me. Also, this t-shirt is too small for me because I got it like two years ago. So I've just constantly been... Hey! Well, I'm a that. Hufflepuff, so um, yeah, bitch. I don't know why I trust you, but... <laughs> Mood. me and me but yeah that's some self-care self -care. one more thing i want to say yes uh self-care is especially good for people recovering from eating disorders mm. so if you make a meal even if it's just really fucking bland like pasta or mashed potato and if you make it and you eat it then it'll make you so much happier and more confident in yourself and then after that you take some time to chill and relax and you also have to do this thing called thought countering. It's not thought stopping. Thought stopping is unhealthy. Thought mm. stopping is when you just cut it off, right? Because yeah. that's that's realistically not going to help. But thought countering is when you talk to yourself like you're your best friend. So let's say your best friend is struggling with an eating disorder. How would you say to them, um, how would you support them? Yeah. And then, and then you say that to yourself, yeah. right? Because the same is true for everyone. Like, you know, just because... Like, your friend deserves that and so do you, you know? Mm, yeah, and it's just having a healthy relationship with yourself. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Also, I'm gonna... I've had, I've had an idea and I'm gonna do it. What? So I'm gonna make some, like, self-care checklist things. Oh, yes, like, that's a really good idea. Because I wanted to make templates for my story anyway. Yeah. So I will link those. Yeah. I'll put them somewhere. Somewhere. But yeah, so just, you know, making sure you're taking care of yourself, doing checklists, mm. kind of... Definitely journaling helps. And I also do this, like... This is... Well, when I'm in a stressed or anxious moment which um i've been told to do by my therapist i write like you know the model the cognitive behavioral therapy yeah model. cbt that, yeah you write like you write the trigger the thoughts feelings body response and actions that you take yeah and that helps with like um you know understanding how you're feeling and breaking it down because often when you're stressed you think irrationally rather than with rational thoughts yeah because you're just stuck in your own mind in that yeah. sense and obviously those feelings are still valid but they're not they're heightened when you're not thinking straight. yeah they're heightened so you should uh, not thinking straight i knew you were gonna say that you know even though those feelings are valid that doesn't mean that they're necessarily healthy mm. or good to be feeling yeah. so it's good not to thought stop but thought counter yeah yeah it's a good note 
Hey y'all, um, this is Future Ollie dropping in. I'm also pierced now, so that's a thing. But I just needed to really quickly tell you, there are some apps I've found that are um, uh, dedicated to self-care and I thought that would be really beneficial for you all. So I'm just gonna link all the links to those apps below. Please go check them out. Not sponsored, obviously. I just thought that would help some people. And also I'm linking my playlist of songs that calm me down. Go follow Blake on Instagram. Yeah. Please be sure to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Woo. I'll see you on Thursday. See ya. They said I'll say that you're scared of the living out of me They could